I just want to welcome everybody to the channel, and in this video, we will be covering the beginning and the demise of Buckeye Yard in Columbus, Ohio. In this film, we will cover everything that was required for Penn Central to build this yard and what ultimately came of the yard today. Here we see a photo from 1970 near the beginning of Penn Central, one year after the yard was opened. Penn Central built this yard for traffic off the Indianapolis Panhandle, the Chicago Panhandle, and the Scots Lawn from the New York Central. Here we see one of Penn Central's first maps of the yard. Here in these next couple photos, we will see what it looks like now on the north end of Buckeye Yard at CP Buckeye. We first take a look at the sold position light signal. They cut the power to this signal just before Buckeye was removed. In these two photos, we see what is left of CP Buckeye. Here we see what is left of the north end of the yard today. In these next couple photos, you will see Conrail doing work in the yard. This first photo is of the Conrail hump job in 1980. Here in 1983, we see a Conrail westbound on the Bradford Line crossing CP Buckeye. In these next images, we will see what is left of the Bradford Line in the area. In this image, we see the westbound inbound tracks. In this image, we see where NS still serves industries with their local train L52. I believe those industries are Bear Supply and Phillips. In this image, we see where NS just recently disconnected the switch to the original second main of the Bradford line. Now, over by the western inbound tracks, we see this old industrial park. This industrial park is no longer served by NS. Now in these last photos of the Bradford line, we will find two great finds. The first of which being this USNS Griswold style cantilever built for the Pennsylvania Railroad. This crossing is located at 5th Avenue in Columbus. Just a short walk west, you will find this PRR position light signal bridge. A awesome find, I must add. Very few of these relics remain. Now, in this part of the video, we will now explain the different preparations that Penn Central did prior to the opening of Buckeye Yard in 1969. Prior to Buckeye Yard, there were four main lines in the proximity of where Buckeye Yard is now. As shown on this map, those four lines were the Big Four Main, PRR's Indianapolis and Chicago Panhandles, and the New York Central, former Toledo and Ohio Central, Scotts Lawn. Three of these four lines were connected to Buckeye Yard, and the fourth line, the Big Four, has an unfortunate end. The first connection you already saw was the connections to the Chicago Panhandle, also known as the Bradford Line, and the NYC Scots Line. In this image, you see the connection at the south end of the yard at CP Alton, where it connected to the Indianapolis Panhandle. In this image, you see what is left of C.P. Alton today after N.S. ripped up the yard. Photo credit to my buddy Clark Wiz. Here we see a one-of-a-kind photo of Conrail locomotives at the locomotive facility at Buckeye Yard. In this part of the video now, we will explain what happened to the Big Four main. In this image, we are looking east at the New York Central and the PRR mains at London. Prior to the opening of Buckeye Yard in 1969, Penn Central would integrate the NYC Big Four main into the PRR Indianapolis Panhandle going east at London at this location. Ultimately turning this spot to look like this. The former Big Four main going east out of London would be turned into a stub track used for maintenance equipment. It was ultimately ripped up by Conrail in 1977. Photo credits to my buddy Mike DeLaby. 
The former PRR Indianapolis Panhandle was left in service by Conrail until 1988. It was Conrail's secondary route between Columbus, Dayton, and Cincinnati until all traffic was routed down the NYC when traffic volumes diminished. A portion of this line stayed intact between London and South Charleston until 1993. Here in West Jeff, you will see where it used to be double main. The second main in that portion between London and South Charleston was removed in 1993 after somebody at Conrail had the idea to remove it. And Conrail had the bright idea to go along with it. And on the far east side of Buckeye Yard where the Big Four crossed the PRR was Miami Crossing. Like London, the NYC Big Four main was also integrated into the PRR. We are facing east. The Big Four main going west from here would ultimately become the Camp Chase Industrial Railroad. The history of Buckeye Yard stretches back a good ways back to the Pennsylvania Railroad. They were the ones who planned to build the yard, but ultimately it would not be built until Penn Central in 1969. Through Conrail, Norfolk Southern would acquire the yard in 1999 before closing it and turning it into a storage yard in 2009. On August 5th, 2021, Norfolk Southern would sell the yard to Exabec, a industrial real estate firm. They would ultimately rip up the yard, and their plans is to turn the land into an industrial park, which will also be served by rail, and will hopefully add traffic to the NS Dayton District, which is now connected to the yard. CSX uses the old local yard for intermodal traffic, which still uses the Scotts Lawn connection at CP Buckeye. And that will conclude our video. If you guys liked this video, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. This is Pennsylvania Central Depot. Thanks for watching.